Welcome to our lab, where we take boring things and make them exciting. And where we take exciting things and make them superfluous. Oh, we get to learn a new word today. Oh. Yeah, it is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Oh, what is enthusiasm? It sounds painful. My enthusiasm hurts. <laughs> no, no. It's like having lots of energy and expressing joy with every task I make, even if it's something you don't like, then you can still give it your best effort and maybe sing a song while you're doing it. But what about taking out the trash? Because it is very hard to sing because you have to breathe and then when you breathe, it stinks. And so I could be taking out the trash and singing, Jesus, blah, blah. Maybe you can think of things that you're grateful for. Oh, that's better because I try to hold my breath when I take out the dress. Okay, well, we are going to be doing straws. <laughs> what are we making today? We are going to make a kite. Why a kite? Because, remember, you soar above everything and you be joyful and you catch the little things that happen in your life that are happy. Oh, okay. Let's make them. Do the gloves come off? You take five straws and you put three and you kink the end so they can fit into each other. And then you take this string and you'll tie it together. So get clear contact paper and take your straws and then you peel it and stick your kite on. Then, because this is sticky, we are going to take tissue paper and you can cut it into shapes or you can just tear it and you are going to uh, stick it all over your kite. So we are going to take the same string used to tie, to tie it together and we are tying it to the ends of the kite. One end, two end, and then this way. But you don't want it to be too tight or it will pull your kite up and that do that. So just do it like an even length and then tie it. I think mine is done. I'm Me ready to too. go fly it. We have to remember while we're flying it that we need to think of all the happy things, maybe like if you're taking out the trash, you can think of all the happy things that you have done or will do. And if it's hard, you can ask God to help you through it and he will always be there to help you. That's right. Let's, Let's go, go outside. outside. Okay, we have something to tell you. So, <laughs> they didn't really work. Um, I think we made to make sure that next time this sticks to this. But you know what? I had a lot of fun. Did, did you? Yeah. So even though this didn't work, we were still able to choose and think about all the things that were going good. We got to spend time with each other. We didn't get hurt. It wasn't raining yet. So these didn't work, but uh, hopefully our games will work a little bit better. Yeah. So how you play the 10 second game is you get in a circle and somebody who's around the circle will pick something that you have to draw. So you have 10 seconds only to draw it. After that 10 seconds up, you have to run around the circle and then you have to pick another picture that you haven't drawn on yet. And then you keep going around. So enthusiasm takes more energy because if you're just sitting down and drawing a regular picture, then it, it doesn't take a lot of energy. But if you're getting up and running every 10 seconds, <laughs> then it takes a lot more energy and it takes more enthusiasm. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors, tag. So what you do is you have two teams <laughs> and you guys face each other. So like this, and then there would be a line of people. So everyone has a person. And what you're gonna do is your team, before you all line up, you're gonna huddle and you're gonna decide, are you gonna do rock, paper, or scissors? And you all need to have the same thing. 
So two teams, they each have chosen and they don't know what the other team's gonna pick. So you line up and then you all say rock, paper, scissors, and then you shoot and you do rock, whatever your team has already decided. If you're the winning group, you are gonna run and try and tag as many as of the opposite team as you can, and then they're gonna be on your team. But if you lose, you have to run. Just like enthusiasm, because you wanna make sure that you're being enthusiastic in the right direction, in the right things. Because just like in the game, you can be super enthusiastic, but running the wrong way, and you're gonna lose. So how you play four corners is you have four places that you're going to be one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna have an it person in the middle, and they are going to count to 10, 20, whatever. And then you have to go to one of the four corners, but if they call the corner with your number in it, you're out. And then you have to wait until the next round. You do not want to draw attention to yourself or else you're gonna get out. Like if you make a lot of noise while going to your corner, then it's gonna get you out. Being enthusiastic is not about, look at me, I'm so amazing, but it's getting people to God and helping them know Christ. So for this game, everyone needs a bowl, everyone needs a spoon, and then you all need a pile of cotton balls or pom-pom fluffy things. You're going to put them in a pile. You take the bowl and you put it on your head. And now you can time yourself. So you can give yourselves 10 seconds and you can see how many that you can scoop. I don't know if I got any in my bowl, but you're gonna see how many, how many you can scoop into the bowl within that 10 second time. And then of course, whoever has the most in there, they win. And if you want to make it harder, then you put the bowl on your head and you close your eyes. Ooh, I don't think I got any. Ah, Whoa, time's up. And whoever has the most wins.